Hey there, Sam and I are on Lake Superior near Grand Marais, Michigan. Uh, it's the middle of June and I don't think it was 50 degrees yet, was it? Uh, close. It was, it was about 46, I think. Yeah, it's cold <laughs> and rainy and uh, we're going to go have some fun on the beach. So Sam pointed out that the rocks will be wet on the beach so we don't have to go in the water to see them pretty. piece of epidote. I always love that color. Kind of wishing I would have brought gloves with me, but middle of June you don't think you need waterproof gloves. Should have known better. It's kind of interesting. Awesome. Oh yeah. Just found a pretty decent chunk of uh, banded shirt. Some, nice. some nice little lines on it. I guess that's just jasper, but uh, it's pretty good. I like how it goes from uh, red to orange to almost yellow. Wish my fingers weren't that color. Not quite agate bands, but that's a really pretty rock. Got there. Kind of a mossy looking thing. I'm not really super, like, 100% convinced it's an agate, but I might bring it home. Take a closer look later. Yeah, might cut that one. Yeah, or tumble it. Or tumble it, yeah. <laughs> That's always an option. <laughs> a fun piece of quartz there. It looks a lot like mudstone from home, but I don't think it is. It looks harder, although it's got some real bad undercutting right there, or differential weathering, I guess you'd call it. Some of those layers are softer than others. Not my favorite colors together. But it's still okay. All the rocks are wet, that's for sure. It's not really raining. But it was most all the way up here. Find something, Sam? Here. Kind of agate A little bit agate a little bit pudding, pudding stony. <laughs> yeah, weird. Pretty sure that's magnetite, but it's cold enough that I don't feel like digging out my magnet to check. Water level's high in Lake Superior this year, and I think a lot more of this bank has come down. That's a neat looking rock. You see those subtle pink stripes in there? I don't think this one would tumble well for some reason. I'm not even sure why, but it's just a fun one to look at. This one's got three colors in one rock. Wait for it. There we go. Kind of thought this was banded iron when I picked it up, but now I don't really think so. Doesn't look quite right. Still a really nice looking rock. 
It's a pretty looking piece of unikite, except it's got sand all over it, so we'll go rinse her off. Yep, that's a nice one. Well, that's a new color. Very like a dark green. No idea what kind of rock that is. Yeah, different than the epidote green. He said bluish, and I didn't think so at first, but it is kind of bluish when you look at certain parts of it. Huh. Don't know what that is. Well, that was our first proper agate of the day. Got some bands in there. Almost like it could be like skipping at him or something in the middle. Like it's a weird, like, bluish color. I never know what a skipping at him agate looks like. Uh, you, you... I have one maybe that's like this color. Okay. I don't know. I like that one for its nice bright orange color, but it's got a bonus stripe too. Makes it even more fun. Up here you don't find that many fossils. That one's a very clear fossil. Looks a little bit like Favocites. It might be. I'm not sure. Or Charlevoix stone. If I had to guess, that's my guess would be. Oh, Sam's got something. Is it an agate? Um, yeah. Not spectacular, but... Yeah, definitely an agate, though. Yeah. It's kind of mixed up, almost looks granity in places. Just has some fun color variation in it. Oh, Sam, what's worse? Rainy cold weather or flies? Flies for sure. <laughs> I'll take the rainy cold any day too. I guess that's just sort of nice. With a G. Maybe. Maybe not. Look at the lines on that one. I like how they're both horizontal and vertical. Any rock? Kind of red and blue. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. The rocks are really fizzling out on the beach. And they're in the water here. But it's so rough that even if you see one, it's gone so quick. It can just be frustrating. This might be a little dark to see, but it has some nice patterns on there, that reddish stuff up near the top. I like this spot right here. I like the shape of that one. A couple of nice sandstones laying right together. We've walked a long ways with mostly sandy beach, but we're finally getting into some rocks again. And I just found this, which is I don't know if it's an agate, but it's the closest to an agate that I've found. There's a big stripe. We've been walking a long ways with very few rocks. Here and there there's a few, but and then they're thin like you see right there. 
We just got a bunch of black sand. I'd carry a little bit back with me to bring home, but we walked probably a couple miles. Oh, Sam's got an agate. Mostly courts, but there's some cool floating portions of vans. Yeah, that's a little bit of husk. by far the best one we've got all day. Yeah. I was just getting discouraged, so. I think that stick might be somewhere someone stopped. Oh, uh, there's some steps right here. Are there some steps? Yeah, right there. Ah. There's a stick in the sand here. We thought it was a tiki torch at first. We're heading back towards the Jeep, and I just saw this little guy. Uh, no bands showing, but that's an agate. Carnelian, I guess you could call it. Look at little guy. Some nice husk right there, and floating bands in that end. Some more floating stuff. Yeah, it's, we're getting a few of them now. That's beautiful. That's what Sam and I call a mystery rock, because we never know exactly what it is. Well, Sam and I are bought out a little bit in the Jeep here. We've got the heat on, and we're heading to Grand Bray because Sam's thought it was a raincoat, but it turned out to not be very waterproof. Yeah, it's more of a windbreaker. I mean, it's, it, it's waterproof to a point, and we've, we've, went, we've gone past that point. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can find him a better jacket and uh, have a little lunch and then hit another beach. All right, we are well fed. Sam made us some nice sandwiches. Uh, he has got a stylish new poncho. <laughs> it's still raining. The mosquitoes are awful, and hopefully the flies are still off the beach. So we're at... Uh, the Blind Sucker River now, and uh, hopefully do better at this one than we did at the first one. Off to a good start here. Only been on the beach for about five minutes, ten at the most, and I just found this one. Nice bands in that. And it seems like where there's one, a lot of time there's more. So Sam is scouring the area. And he's pointing my bucket that's trying to get away. Through. All right. One in. Almost thought I had another one for a minute, but that's not agate banding on that one. Found this rock. That's and a neat. nice stripy orange. Threw up the tumbler and then when we went to film it, I lunged forward and found this. <laughs> Just barely spotted it and then a wave came. Little band down there. That's a keeper. Yep. Look at that green one up there. All kinds of swirls and circles and stuff. A lot more rocks on this beach than the last beach. I think we should have come here a lot earlier in the day. It's about 3.30 now. It's never gotten over 50 degrees. At least not what we saw in the Jeep. Tempted to come out here, but you just get a quick glimpse and then in comes a wave and takes them all away. Waves are just pounding today. So Sam and I are hoping to have a nice calm day tomorrow with all the rocks being all mixed up. Should be good hunting. Pretty sure that's one right there. Yep. Carnelian at least. Don't see any real obvious bands, but 
I'll keep it. That's pretty. You say you found one? I get a host rock with some nice bands. Oh yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Probably the nicest one I've found in host rock. Yeah. Yeah. Usually I don't like those that much, but that one's really cool. Yeah. Maybe that's some ice there. I find these a lot, but they're, it is fun. Pure white quartz. I thought I had something here. And it's, I guess a maggot. A maybe agate. But, very close. Not quite the sharp banding I was looking for. I'm keeping it though. I'm thinking I might cut this one. It's like kind of agony, like potato-y and kind of translucent, but I don't know about this matrix. So we'll see. Well, we got this one sliced up and it's pretty neat. Not an agate either, but. What do you, you think that's chalcedony in there? Maybe, it's very uh, kind of churdy, but there's also like some weird conglomerate type, almost sandy looking stuff, but it's very solid. Yeah. I have no idea. And that sandy looking stuff doesn't feel sandy, does it? Yeah, not, like I mean... When I rub my finger across it, it feels just like the rest of it. Maybe a little bit over in here, but around here it's real smooth. So, I had an idea of soaking, like, the smaller half in acid to see if that stuff goes away. What do you think? Yeah, we could try it. See what happens. I'm not real invested in this rock. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a cool rock, but, like, you know, I'm not I don't sure know what we do, do with it. it. Yeah. Alright, so let's uh, soak that mass and see what happens. Mm, not reacting immediately. No, I have my doubts looking at... Usually there's bubbles if it's going to do anything. We'll leave it in there overnight and see what happens. Yeah, it's losing some air, but it's probably just trapped air in there. So. There's small bubbles. Yeah, yeah there, there are a few little bubbles. Maybe something's happening. Yeah. So we'll leave it overnight and see what happens. It could just be air in the rock. Could be. I'll end up leaving this in the acid for two days. So what do you think? Well, the one on the right that we put in the acid certainly has gotten whiter, <laughs> but not much change other than that. No, nope, still feels smooth, so... Uh, Acid did not have much of an effect. I think we're gonna have to put this one in just to even them up so that you have a matching pair. What'd you find, Sam? Got an agate. What is one it looks like? Oh. Hey, hold it flat in your hand. That's a beauty. That's what we're looking for. Wow, nice one. Okay, you haven't found one in a while. Yeah, I think this is the best one I've found so far. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe the best one either of us have found. Look at the variety of rocks here. I always love the epidote. It's a pretty mineral. That's a strange one. Never seen one like that before. Just found a fun little agate. Yeah, this red and white one. Yeah. Looks a lot like that granite we keep picking up, but. Yeah, that red and white granite will fool you a lot. But definitely an agate though. Well, we might have an agate. It's probably the biggest today so far if it is. 
but uh, the bands aren't super crisp. It kinda yeah, that looks like that, potato there. Yeah, that looks aggity. Well, that looks kind of aggity, and this. Show that edge again. Yeah, it's so hard to tell. Okay, agate experts, let's see the other side. Uh, you got to weigh in on this one and tell us, is that an agate or not? Sure is close. What's that? Kind of like that sandstone we find, but no idea what that is. That's strange. I don't know how they get into a sandstone type thing. I don't know. That's a weird rock. We got some granite, some maybe some sort of basalt or host rock or something, and then some kind of quartz, almost sea maggot. It almost it gets a, a little purple in there, but... That's a lot in one rock. Yeah. Weird. There's a piece of epidote that actually got an ooh out of Sam. Found a fun little piece of agate. Got a couple bands in there. A thin little slice. Well, definitely the biggest agate of the trip. Not real dramatic, but there's some bands going on in the around here. And then it gets kind of dark on this side. I like this side better, actually. It'd be fun to hold the flashlight up to it. Yeah, this side looks just like quartz to me. Except for which... that bit, yeah. I don't, like, totally agree. Yeah. That's that's cool. And I just saw it like this, and I was like, that's some real odd looking. Yeah, I was not at all impressed until you flipped it over. Yeah. Nice find. Yeah. Well, we're back home. This rock's been oiled. Certainly an agate. It's got like a some sort of darker portion, but this top part seems to be quartz kind of, and then this is husk. I don't really think it's a nodule, but this is certainly a weird area. It almost looks like peeling action, but not really because it's not smooth or anything. Just certainly weird. It's got like some different splotches on this side. And even little, uh, I think these are called platelets or something. Little dots inside the chalcedony. So, pretty neat. Actually, a little tiny bit of blue sky peeking out over there. Probably the nicest it's been all day. Yeah, we might have just found a pseudomorph. It's got like some weird wavy... I don't know. I don't know either. It's uh, either that or just quartz with imperfections in it, impurities in it. In weird shapes. So, uh, tell us what you think. If you're a pseudomorph agate expert, weigh in. This little unsuspecting rock is actually quite the agate. Yeah, that's... That's a nice one. Is that the best one of the day? Yeah, maybe. It's right up there. I like that a lot. That's an interesting fossil. Kind of makes me think horn coral, but it's definitely weird the way it's weathered. If it is. Yeah, I think happy cyclops. <laughs> You're kind of on fire lately. Yeah, this was pretty fun. I started out strong on this beach and then it all fell apart. And, uh, I've definitely taken off and I'm hopefully to continuing. <laughs> that one's cool. Yeah, a lot of host rock, but quite neat. Whoa, don't drop it. Another one. You are just on a roll. That's cool. Long and skinny. <laughs> Weird shape. I just saw that part and I didn't think it was an agate really and then I pulled it up and it was... It, it was an agate. There's an oddball. Sam has deemed it a maggot. That's about the best we can call it. I don't know what to say about this one. I picked it up thinking maybe it was an agate. I don't think it's an agate. Sort of brecciated there. Definitely one for the tumbler. Didn't think we'd find any of this, especially not cobalt, but it's a nice piece of beach glass.
Just found an agate of sorts, maybe. Certainly looks like it, but not real clear banding or anything like that. Other than this, like, kind of fuzzy stuff. So, neat. Found a funky little rock. A lot of green stuff going around. I don't know what these bits are. Kind of neat. Yeah, that's a lot of little squiggles and things. I had to find one more. So you said one more. I think you've got about five for every one of mine. Yeah. Nice, nice three, like three, three good bands there, and there's probably some smaller ones that we can't really see very well. It's kind of interesting yeah. host rock on the back. Wow. You got a lot of those in host rock that look really good today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the bugs are. Uh, make a horror film about these bugs, these mosquitoes here, but uh, these are the rocks for the stone stash this time. Uh, this is the magnetite from the first beach. There's this uh, weird maggot and Sam's really unusual rock. And let's just give you a lay of the land here. The beach is that way. The trail coming in is that way. Sam, where are you putting them? Over by this tree. All right. Got to do it quick before we lose all of our blood to mosquitoes. Okay, big white pine. There it is. And Sam is doing the stash. Okay, it's right at the end of a log in front of the white pine. So, right there. Alright, good luck. See you next time. Run, Sam, run.